What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today we're going to look at a mix 6 truck, which is pretty rare. Um, I would say this is second to the Earthshaker truck, and it's none other than Iron Outlaw. Alright, so here we go guys, Iron Outlaw. So this thing... I'm pretty sure this is a teammate to Scarlet Bandit, maybe, and Bounty Hunter. Not too sure. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I forget the team name. But anyway, this thing is an ultra rare truck to find. Um, This one I actually found by total mistake. Uh, the second one I found, I ordered it off of uh, eBay because I just couldn't find it anywhere. But yeah, as you guys know, the back of the pack, you know it's on there. All mix six. Pretty cool. And yeah, really cool truck. So with that being said, as you see, this package is all beat up and it's funny how I uh, found it. So let me tell you that right after we open it. All right, so Iron Outlaw, the third brand new truck in the toy line, which is pretty cool because now the racing series just got bigger by three trucks, at least with this mix alone. But anyway, this thing is hard to find and I don't know if it's just New Jersey or what, but I cannot find this truck again. I haven't seen it again in stores. I have not seen it in Kohl's. I have not seen it in Walmart. Walmart's a joke, first of all. You know, first of all, they don't ever have anything new until like a month later. Target has every other truck besides this one. So the funny thing is with this truck, I ended up going to Target and this was the third to last truck I needed to complete the set. Went through the whole thing, actually in the back, couldn't find it. Now, the package was all basically crumpled and crushed. Where this thing was, was I was walking past, like, the kid toys, and it was actually shoved. I saw the Monster Jam, like, the card, and I saw it shoved behind, like, um, what is it called? Like, uh, the puzzle pieces for, like, kids that's, like, Baby Shark and all that. That's how I found this thing, and this is the last one I found of it. And since the card was completely destroyed, I was like, yeah, dude, we're just opening this. But yeah, so Iron Outlaw, really cool co color combination. Once again, you have a driver holding the steering wheel here, which is a female driver, if you guys did not know that already, which you guys probably know a lot more than I do, but that's okay. And then you get your problem card, and you get your poster with Gravedigger on it, which is pretty cool. I do like the poster in this mix, as we're just taking all that out right now. Yeah, so the color combination, this is really cool because this reminds me of my car. Um, my Integra is basically the same color and the red so really cool and just like most of these trucks i really don't know much about iron outlaw so forgive me for that but hey it's all fun learning right so anyway moving on to the truck um basically i love the way these chrome red rims look it really makes it pop and you know just like with zombie i kind of wish the chassis was the gray like you know the gray as the driver or gray as the body or the dark gray whatever you guys want to call it I think that would have done a lot better. I don't know if Spin Master was just going for gray or chrome chassis on every truck in this mix, but they definitely did <laughs> because I'm pretty sure every truck has a chrome chassis besides like one, and I think that's Ice Cream Man. But Iron Outlaw, don't know much about it. I think this truck was retired. I could be horribly wrong, but I really do like it. I really do like the way it looks. Now, obviously, it's the same casting and the same everything as bounty hunter and scarlet bandit and obviously it has the same logo so i'm not too familiar if it's a teammate truck to that or a retired truck off of that or whatever the case may be about it in real life i really honestly do not know i've never seen this truck in person don't know anything about it so if you guys know anything about it put it in the comments help me out please <laughs> so i know but um yeah i really like it i like the gray i like the color combination i think it looks amazing um like I said, though, this gray chat or this chrome chassis, I just, I don't know, Spin Master was really going the distance here with that, <laughs> at least for this mix. And I would say this one is probably, besides Herb Shaker and besides Zombie, actually, you know, I would put this one ahead of Zombie because this one is pretty hard to find and I haven't seen it and it's basically rare, I would guess. If you guys haven't seen it, I've never even seen this at Kohl's. I live next to three Kohl's and I've never even seen Iron Outlaw there. I saw it in one target and one target only. That's it. I've never seen it any other place or anything besides eBay, which, you know, 
15 bucks for it. But um, <laughs> yeah, Iron Outlaw, truck's pretty cool. I like it and hopefully you guys like it too. I mean, minor details that I wish were different or just the chassis, that's really it. But with that being said guys, that's basically gonna do it for this truck. Really nothing much more I can really say about it because I can't really compare it to anything else. Um, sadly, I don't have Scarlet Bandit or Bounty Hunter next to me, but it's basically the same casting, just a different paint scheme on it. And I can't really say much how the real truck looked in real life. But um, yeah, I'm learning as I'm going. I'm learning as I'm going. But with that being said, guys, like the video, subscribe. If you guys can't find this truck, hopefully you found it. Hopefully it was one of the trucks that you guys first found a mix six. I don't even know. But yeah, New Jersey's does not have this thing at all. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. And yeah, like, subscribe. <laughs> Peace out.